this is um, uh, what I started going off about, what spot the deliberate mistake. I went talking about this when I had a different slide on, to be honest. Um, go back and look at your work in three months time because in three months time you will forget what you were trying to actually get you, you will have a, a recollection but it won't be um, it won't be as thorough okay the memory will have just faded a little bit my memory faded a lot but go back and, and have a look at your pictures and you will see, you will find new pictures you missed at the time because it wasn't what you were after at the time. So that's the, that's, this is the standard test, does it work in three months time? Some pictures get better, they become timeless and things that you thought were good on the day, things you processed, when you got back you liked them but they then you look at them and you think I mm, don't know not as enthusiastic about it was when you took it and the and the enthusiasm wanes a little bit and you put it away and you think oh it's a little bit out just a tad soft but you go back the next day don't you just to check to see if it's changed and, you know, and the, the sharpness fairy fairy has been in and while you've been asleep they've put a bit of sharpening dust and all of them it's still sharp today so have a look at your pictures go back and look at them um, does it work in three months time i took that as an image overlay i do a lot of image overlays underwater a lot of multiple exposures I'm trying to do, because if I can do it in the camera, it's, that's good for me, it's not cheating, I can do it in the camera. So I'm turning housings upside down, I'm taking one, I'm coming round, I took that, I put some toning in it, <coughs> I ate it, I put it on the, somebody saw it uh, in missile and said, wow, wow, and I was just, like, just about to, uh, somebody else saw it, oh yeah, really well. I did a slideshow a while back, oh stop, stop, let me have a look at that. I still don't like it personally, and it doesn't matter what you say. But so um, that was uh, an image of a multiple exposure of five pictures just of a clamp. Um, and yeah, that works for me. That works. That, that, uh, that's my test. If it works for me, it, it works. Um, I don't know if uh, this one does. But, um, black and white with the stuff. So go back and um, that's just trying to play with the senses a little bit. Does it work in three months time? And while you're looking, you'll find other shots, I promise you. Okay, if we have time, have we got five? Yeah. Okay, quick one, who do you please? <coughs> No. Do you please yourself? Yeah. 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 Um, I, when I started out, I wanted to please, I wanted to please my dive club. I wanted to please my mum and dad. I wanted to please everybody who saw my pictures. Uh, I wanted to please myself, and um, only to be devastated. <coughs> The uh, early 80s, I went to my dive club, showed me the best pictures of a garden, and the dive master said, are you saving your best ones? Are you saving your best ones? <laughs> I, was, I remember it now. You can't please everybody. You please, you please yourself. Um, if you're working for an editor, you've got to please the editor. If you're working for a client, you've got to please the client. But when you don't have to please somebody in particular you it's a it's a no-win situation if you like it that is that's all that matters and when i started at bisu i could never the focus on competitions i could never pick the winner i just that, that whatever won i hadn't got it down and i haven't got second down or third i've just got no concept of what was popular but after a while that changed 
And I started to get the winner or the second place. And I thought, right, before I thought, there's no point in me entering any competitions. I can't, I wouldn't know what to put in. I can't, I can't pick the winner. So when I started to pick the winner, I started to enter. And as I started to enter, I started to win. And then uh, I kind of went off the boil again. So tonight, I'm delighted. <laughs> Changing lenses all the time. Um, there's a lot of people who advocate putting a lens on each dive. That's fine. Go with it. I, I can't do that. I have a real problem with that. Um, because you get into, your, your brain gets into a style. And, I'm getting, and uh, so you've been doing wide angle all week in the Red Sea. And on the last day you think, I haven't used my macro lens, let's put my macro on. And you go in and you've been doing wide angle all week and what happens, there you are swimming four metres away from the reef getting out of the water and think, I couldn't find anything to photograph at all. <laughs> you, you, you might have changed your lens, but your brain's still in wide angle. So some people do it well. So if you go in and you think of this ch constant chopping and changing, you become jack of all trades, master of none. You're not sure. You can look at your dome and know you've got a macro lens on, uh, or vice versa but your brain is still in macro mode. And, it, and it's, it's a tricky one. Pushing the housing forward, that's great. I've written about this, sport about this one. What, uh, there we go. Uh, taking a picture, it's taken ages to creep up on this shot. Looking through the uh, viewfinder, take the picture, what do we do to have a look? And uh, push the housing in front of us to look at the LCD, go back to, where's it gone? <laughs> what bad luck that was. <laughs> so, <clears throat> do it all the time. I do it. I have a look. I forget. I go like that. <coughs> subject's gone. Hold your housing. It's a memory thing. This is try and hold your housing and you take your eye to the housing. Or have a quick look <coughs> and then trust it. If in doubt, bracket. Keep your eye on that viewfinder because as soon as you start moving it, little bled is gone. Um, fear of failure, that's, oh, I can talk about that all night, well, shot list, sub subject fixation. Um, some of you, um, uh, sorry, Ken, um, used to make shot lists, and it still do, and uh, got a list on the, uh, on the, on the door of the, of the hut. And with all these things, I want to shoot this today, I want to shoot that today, that today. Go in the water, find these things, shoot them. Come out of the water, bitterly disappointed. I found a saber-tooth blenny today, but oh, haven't I messed it up uh, because it's hopeless. No, it's not hopeless. It was never going to photograph well because it's just not in the right place. But this going in, looking for subjects, <coughs> It is emphasised, a dive guide abroad. What's the first thing they say to you? Um, what would you like me to find you this week? Oh, a pygmy seahorse. Oh, a ghost pikefish. And they go up, there's a pygmy seahorse, ghost pikefish. Is it photographable? Yes, it's there, very exotic. You can get a picture of it, but it is not in a position or on a background that is going to make a good picture. But you blame yourselves, I know you don't, other people blame themselves because they think they failed. So don't get fixated with subjects. Shoot it. If you can't, and shoot it, get it on paper, record it fine. But make a distinction between what will photograph well and what won't. Because the people who go looking for subjects can be constantly disappointed if they're looking to make great images. If you're looking to record, it's not, not a problem, but if you're looking to make great pictures, you can be disappointed. Uh, concentration, um, aperture priority instead of shutter priority, which I talked about with the fish. I think that, I think we'll call that a day. Okay. So far.
on. Has anyone got any questions? <laughs> I think what's interesting is how digital cameras enable you to work in a completely different mm. way from film. You yeah, could never absolutely. build up a shot in film in no. the way you can no. digital. No. Quite extraordinary difference. Absolutely. What time is it? Half past what this circle. Any questions then? Thank you very much, Jake. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.